Gail down here at Beachcomber Regina, I've got a 300 series top side I just like to go over with you. So the first button on this thing is a light button. You turn your light on, your light's going to come on, transition through a bunch of different colors. When it gets to the color that you want it to stay on, you can just let it transition or you can let it get to a certain color, like green. Turn the light off and back on and now it's going to stay on that green color. The next button is your temperature button. You'll notice there's just the one button, so if you're pushing this button, and you're going down, you just wanna stop, wait till it stops flashing, and it's gonna take us the opposite way now. Then there's your jetting button. Uh, every beachcomber comes with a two-speed jetting pump. So the first time you hit that button, you're gonna be in low-speed jetting. That's gonna run for approximately an hour before it shuts off. If I hit it one more time, high speed, you're gonna run for 15 minutes before it shuts off. This little star button here, that's if you had a blower in your hot tub. A blower would basically you like putting air bubbles in your hot tub and makes your, your air a little bit more intense. Uh, then, when you uh, to get into the program mode of this hot tub, when you're pushing that temperature button and it's flashing, you're in a programmable mode. <clears throat> so any other button you hit after that one, you're gonna change things to your hot tub. The one that happens the most is the temperature button and the light button, because people jump into their hot tub, they're like, what's this temperature set at? And then they turn their light on. Well, what you're playing with is your heating modes. This hot tub comes with three of them. The moment you power up your hot tub, you're gonna be in standard mode. Standard mode basically heats your hot tub to whatever you set it to and it's gonna stay there. But if I take and I hit that temperature button and then immediately after the light button, I'm gonna put this hot tub into economy mode. Economy mode is only gonna heat twice a day during the filter cycles. Filter cycles, the moment you power up this hot tub, you're in filter cycle number one for a two hour period. And then 12 hours later, you're in filter cycle number two for a 12 hour period. Those are the only two uh, times a day for a four hour period this hot tub is going to heat. If I take and I hit the temperature button again and the light button, you'll notice I'm now in sleep mode, SL mode. Uh, sleep mode allows your hot tub to fall 20 degrees below what you have it set at. I love sleep mode in the summertime. I put my hot tub into that sleep mode, set it for about 100. That means it'll fall to 80 before the heater ever kicks in. I've never seen 80 in my hot tub in the middle of summer. It's usually between 95 and 97 but you keep those temperatures a little bit cooler for more deep tissue massaging, but not the, the heat from the hot tub. I quite like that setting. Uh, one more time, you're gonna be in that standard mode. Standard mode is whatever you set this hot tub to is what it's, uh, what it's gonna stay at. When you're in that standard mode, the temperature on the display pad is always consistent. It's always the temperature of the hot tub. If you're in any other of those modes, the sleep mode or the economy mode, it's always going to flash between the current temperature and EC or SL for economy or sleep. Uh, the next one is if I take and I push that temperature button and my massage button, I'm playing with my, my filter modes and how many modes a day there are. It should be in F2, C2 is the default uh, setting, which means uh, filtering two hours a day. You can change that to four, six, eight, continuous. You just need to be in F2 and uh, two cycles a day. There's a daytime cycle, a nighttime cycle, or two cycles. So uh, F2, C2 is kind of the default setting for that. And then the last button here, this button that does nothing in your hot tub, if you take and you hit the temperature button and then that star button puts you into what it's called standby mode. Standby mode is basically a power kill switch to this hot tub. It's gonna shut your light off. It shuts your circulation pump off. If your jets were running, it's gonna shut everything off. Um, and it's gonna stay off until you hit any button on your top side where it turns it back on again. To the sides of the, uh, the top side here, there's some air diverters. The one to your left-hand side of the top side, this basically puts air into those back jets that are in your back side. Okay? The one to the right of the diverter is basically gonna divert uh, the air down to your foot jets down below. Okay. Um, all jets in a beach comer can be turned off just by basically turning the uh, front lens here. You can shut your water off to that jet, redirecting that pressure to another seat in the hot tub. I quite like to do that. I'll turn every other jet off in my hot tub but what's behind my back. And you just basically want to turn that front lens off and on.